everybody, Rose Thorne here. Today I am doing a react video to Foodie Beauty's live stream called Hi Beezers. So everyone remembers that Foodie Beauty, she did one live stream yesterday and then she mysteriously disappeared. I covered that live stream and here we are the very next day. Uh, she looks like she's had a shower, she's got some fresh clothes on and it's pretty obvious where she's going. You know, what's going to be happening today because she's all dressed up and we know foodie when she's dressed up and she keeps the live stream short. That's pretty much an indicator. She's going back over to Natters. Uh, there's been all kinds of evidence to suggest that she has been over at Natters the last few days. Uh, last night she disappeared and Natter did a live stream and there were different comments that I saw from people in that live stream that they saw Chantal's reflection in a metal pot on Natter's stove to show that she was there. Other people were saying that she was upstairs because Natter would not risk her being downstairs with him. But uh, she did do a run to the liquor store before she disappeared. She got two bottles of Bailey's and one bottle of tequila. And I wonder who was gonna drink the tequila. Yeah, probably Natter, because I just don't see her drinking that. She got two bottles for herself one for him then in my opinion she just ran over to the trap house with her sacrificial offerings and said hey want a party i got the liquor she goes over there with gifts because she knows that he will let her in to get the gifts and then once she's there she gets smashed on every chemical to the point where she can't drive home and that's how she makes sure that natter keeps her over there but I wanted to sit in on this live stream and give my comments and then we'll go directly to the comments section and talk about the comments there. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Right. Oh, thank you, Tiffany, Crazy and Marco. Natter's number one fan, Tanya, L. I think I got everybody, Banana Bread, Charlotte, M. Hobbs, from Tal Arners, hand colored clothing, must, mustard colored clothing. Love goddess. <clears throat> My night was very uneventful. Hi, Laura. Just bees in, Rufus. And um, you just got back. You know, I'm not being a mean girl here, but I wish somebody would teach Chantal how to dress. I really do. Because the girl makes all kinds of money from YouTube and she does not know how to dress. She buys the ugliest clothes, the most unflattering clothes for herself. I don't, I don't know why she can't hire a stylist to help her out with that. You know, she's not even 40 years old and she's dressing for being much older and her clothes never flatter her. They don't flatter her skin tone. They don't flatter her hair. Nothing. They're just the worst colors. Chantal, listen, I'm not a professional stylist, but let me just give you a little fashion tip. You got very fair skin. Stay away from those light colors. Beige, white, light pink. Stay away from them. They don't look good on you. Stay with the dark colors. You want that contrast. You want the dark against the light. You want that. I mean, that's one little fashion tip I can, you know, give to you. If you got very pale skin, stay away from the light colors. All the light colors do is wash out against your skin tone. It's not good for you, sis. What? <laughs> you hang out with them? And I don't know what top or dress you got on, sis, but throw it away. That thing is ugly. Just please throw it away. Oh, EG, sorry I didn't say hi. Sarah Kate. Um, Sandra, I just had a small, but I ended up pa like passing right out. Like that Bailey's is really, really strong. <laughs> Who believes that Chantal bought two bottles of liquor for herself and she stopped at one glass? What a crock of crap that is. We know, foodie, everything she does, she does to extremes. Who believes that Chantal had one glass of the Baileys? And that Baileys was, I believe, caramel flavored. I don't know exactly what flavor it was. I can't remember off the top. But that Baileys, it tastes like ice cream. Okay, and we know how she likes to guzzle down the sweets. Who believes she actually drank one glass and said no more? Because I don't. I believe she drank 
one bottle, possibly the second bottle, and she got completely smashed out of her head and she passed out. And Natter probably let her pass out on the floor because that's where he, she sleeps. It's not in his bed, it's on the floor. She went over there last night with the intention of getting so smashed, he wouldn't be able to send her home. So she got smashed and she came home. And what are we doing here? She's taking her makeup off. Why would she start her going out video with taking her makeup off unless she was there the night before? <laughs> no, uh, guys, Amethyst, okay, oh, it was a joke. Well, it was a good one. I'm actually gullible. So I have pistachio latte. I went to the dispensary. Yeah, she was over at Natter's. And before she started her live stream, she went to Starbucks. She went to dispensary. She made sure to do all that stuff so she wouldn't get called out on her way home. She made sure to do all of that and then be at home before she started the live stream. Another tell, Chantal. And now I have... A hose. Let's try it out. Jake Smith. Look at the man for me. He's ready to me. Happy to wander, you guys. And take my makeup off. Since I just woke up. Alright. Oh. You just woke up from matters. Okay. Let me see. So this one is by Purdue. I'm not ignoring you guys. So this is like a universal hose. It's actually more sturdy than the other one. So. Let's see if this will fit on my machine. Oh my god, I'm going for a friggin' nap. I'm lazy to set if my machine is not all set up like this, I I'm so lazy, like I swear. It's not good. Let's see. Now I'm not a CPAP machine expert, maybe. Some of you in the comments, you can give me more education about this. And I do welcome the opportunity to become more educated about things I do not know. But as I understand it, if you have a CPAP machine, you're supposed to replace the hoses on the regular. Am I right? That's what I've heard. That you just can't keep the same hoses forever just for hygienic reasons. You have to exchange them out once in a while. So Chantal bought hoses and she's not sure if they're going to fit. Shouldn't she know if they are gonna fit before she makes a purchase? What if you get married? I'm not getting married, but I was just thinking, I, wearing rings gets on my nerves. If you get engaged, do you have- Wait a second, what? What? Wearing rings gets on your nerves. Wait a minute. So you bought that Jafar ring and you wore it proudly for the longest because you wanted everybody to think that you and Natter were engaged, that he gave you that ring, and then all of a sudden the ring is getting on your nerves. Hmm. I have to have an engagement ring, or can you have like an engagement necklace? Like, is that like a. Well, why are you thinking about things like this if you're not even close to being married or engaged, Chantal? Why is this talk coming up all of a sudden? Thing. What is this here? Get in there. Let me see if this will work. Okay. You love the shirt? I don't love the shirt. I hate I hate that shirt. It looks tacky. It's so not flattering for her. Throw it. Throw it away. Throw it away. Don't even throw it on your bedroom floor, Chantal, with the rest of your clothes. Just take it off and throw it in the trash. This it's doing nothing for you. Thank you. Hold on. All right, freeze frame for a reason. Look at all that behind her. Look at that. That there's no excuse for that. None. Absolutely none. She's got a washer and dryer literally right next to her bedroom. All she would have to do is just take a armful of that those dirty clothes, stick them in the washer with some soap and let it run while she's talking to people. This live stream went on for an hour. She could have done like a load of laundry while she's talking. Just talk to people during this live stream about midway through, take the clothes out of the washer, stick them in the dryer. And by the time she's done talking to people, they would be dry. She could fold everything and put it in her closet. Done. Hi guys. 
I'm going to plug it in. <laughs> there it is. Once this is plugged in and set up, I'm going to be so effing happy to not have to worry about it ever again. This machine is not leaving my bedroom unless I need to like go on vacation. <laughs> I'm never leaving it at a guy's house. Uh, Alright, let's see how it works. Oh, you hear that? Oh, yeah. Ooh, good super chat. Somebody's saying, you got the hose yesterday. Why didn't you use it before? Yeah, good question. Why didn't she use it before? I'll tell you why. Because she was over at his house. She wasn't home last night or else she would have put it together last night and used it. She's putting it together today because she was over at Natter's. That's where she was. Oh. Oh. Oh, and here we go. Here's a comment supporting that. A tribe called Creek says she was at Natter's and left the CPAP at home. She said herself that she was going home to use a CPAP, and clearly she's just setting it up now. Exactly. My machine! I missed my machine. It is so clean. Oh my God. I'm a clean, lean machine! Uh, no, you're not. That mess behind you says otherwise. I'm a lean, clean, breathing machine. That's not how it works. And then so. Because I didn't use it because, like I said, I'm lazy. Liar. You, you, it's not that you're lazy. You were over at his house last night. You were over at his house last night. Girl, we see you over here. You and Natter just need to stop freaking lying. He needs to stop lying about seeing you, and you need to stop lying about going over there. I don't know why you two just can't come forward with the truth. People aren't stupid. We can see everything. We can see everything. Just come right out, both of you, and just say it. I don't know why he won't say it. I don't know why you won't say it. You get mad at him for not admitting that he's seeing you. Y'all need to stop lying. Just just cut it out. Just stop with the lying. It's driving everybody mad. If it's not set up like this, anyways, I passed out. I had a glass of the Baileys and smoked way too much ganj and just like so I didn't set it up. No way. If this this is set up now, so tonight I'll have no problem. It's all set up, but the the, the hose is a bit more stiff than the other brand. Because it's brand new. It's on the floor here. Hi. Oh my gums. Sometimes like you have gingivitis. Especially when I do rat face. There we go. <laughs> Sambo, Sambert. Can we call Sam Sambert? Oh no, that's right. I need to get the fill. I have a back box of filters. Uh, I think the box of filters are actually downstairs. Shit, I need to remind. I need to remember. It was black, remember? Ew. No matter how, I I once forgot to change the filter for a long time, but it was here. You're supposed to change it every like. I ch change it like try to change it every month. At least every two. But I left, left it for a few months. No, Sam! You know, I don't have a CPAP machine, but I've heard from other people that have them that when you have a CPAP machine, you got to be on top of keeping it clean. On top of that, you just can't let it get dirty and filthy. You got to remember that's something that you use to breathe at night. So if the filter is dirty, you're breathing in that. If the water is dirty, if the hoses are dirty, 
you're, you're, that's what you're using to breathe at night. You got to stay on top of that, Chantal. Having a dirty CPAP could be dangerous. Sam. All right, Sam. Come on, Chubby. I left it for a few months and. Uh, Ew. Crunch chicken. The last two brain cells I have left. I know. I'm super happy because now I can friggin'. Chibi you. Come on. Chibi you. And then I'm going to wash my face. Actually, I'm going to do a face mask right now. Or am I good for a face mask? So was I incorrect? I think I was incorrect. She's sitting there saying she needs to wash her face. Did she not take a shower and she just put new clothes on? So she's putting new clothes on a dirty body. Come on, Chantal, do better. Could have heard. I mean, now you. What do you want? Cuddles and hugs. So. What do you guys want to do? I have laundry to do. Why aren't you doing I it now? I like, have a nap with my machine before I come back. <laughs> Next time before I come back. Uh, I should throw a load of laundry in. Yeah, like right now. Do it now. You're just talking to people. The machine could do its job while you're gabbing. Why aren't you doing it now? Not bad, I guess, for wipes. Unblock. Unblock user says user has been unblocked, but it doesn't actually unblock them on that page for some reason. So, I go into the studio and there's like the settings. I click settings, community. I go hidden users. There's there was there was people the other day showing. I hit the X, unblocked everybody. Looking like a snag. Looks like a bag of peanuts. Is she making a big deal about blocking people and unblocking people? Because in the past, Chantal has blocked people and then unblocked them and then blocked them again and then unblocked them again. So she should know how to do it. If you've done it once, you know the process. If you don't know it, there's lots of web pages and YouTube stuff that if you if you just simply do a search, you can figure it out within like five minutes. She's just making excuses and lying over there. I think she's pretty good. I know about the waste. Well, try to unblock on Pete's computer. I don't think it'll matter, Brooke. I can try. I'll show you how to do it from. Okay, Lara, inbox me, please. Everybody here offering help. Can I just offer a suggestion to you? All of you people saying, I'll help you, Chantal. I'll help you, Chantal. Don't help her. She's the YouTuber. This is her channel. This is her content. She needs to figure out how to do things on her own. She's been on YouTube for years. There's no excuse why she can't figure stuff out on her own. There's an old saying, if you get the man a fish, he'll eat for a day. If you teach a man a fish, he'll eat for the rest of his life. Don't give her any help. She's lazy. Make her do it herself. If she cares enough, she will. If she doesn't care, she won't. But now there's no one showing. XX tells me that well shit. Might as well hang around and see what happens next, eh? I want a bald head shape, please. <laughs> Thank you for repeating Lime Jello and Jeff. Hi, Raven. A top hat and a monocle. Hello. Sarah James. Oh my god. I just caught the reference. <laughs> A top hat and a monocle. The peanut man. I caught it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Some people can be blocked permanently. No. It's just that it's not showing up in the place where I need to unlock people. I don't know why. And she looks over to the side. She knows. She knows. She's just playing stupid. Auntie M, I think you look better in dark jewel tones. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I think so too. Yes. And then most of your wardrobe is the wrong colors. The wrong colors, Chantal. Yes, they are. 
What is it with you buying all these clothes in the wrong freaking colors? The light colors, the pinks, the salmons, the, the yellows. Why do you go to those colors? Stick to the dark colors, the blacks, the reds, the greens, the anything but the light tones. Stay away. Can they rejoin under a new name? I'm not sure. Bald snack, Jessica. Um, I've been playing cheese burger. Yeah. Please. Hi, Chantal Cycles. Mr. Peanut. Yeah, he had a monocle, you're right. Yeah, yeah Mr. Peanut. Monocle. That's it, Mr. Peanut. A highly processed slice of cheese. No, it's like a friggin' Dijon fancy mustard. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. Can I show Sam up close? <laughs> yes. Hi. Look at that. One of the VIPs telling her what she needs to do. You have to go to your Google account to unblock. See, one of the IVs knows how to do it, and this YouTuber that's been on YouTube for like four plus years making all this money doesn't know how to do it, allegedly. Yes. Season two, and he wanted to watch something. I can't remember why, but it. So I said, well, I'm just going to smoke this. I'm going to put a load of laundry and slight this as a reward for myself for doing a day's work. Oh, I need to do one more thing, too. What time is it? I need to do something urgent. Yeah, go over to Natters. Hours. And uh, and then he's like, "Oh, did you see Tom Holland lip sync battle?" And I'm like, "No, what?" So he showed me Tom Holland doing this uh, umbrella with the storm today. Another clothing haul is coming, born to these. I ordered. Oh, I'm so mad, Torrid. Fucking, I hate this shit. I hate when this happens. I understand, but sometimes I order something. I ordered a really cute effing lollipop heart. So biggest beezer Beez says, how do you have so much laundry when you only wear two or three outfits? You should wear the same two or three things for like days at a time. And rather than do laundry, which would be the smart thing, she'd rather go out and get new clothes and then wear that for like two or three days at a time. And so all the dirty clothes just pile up. Lollipop sweater? Well, yeah, I'm talking about Tori. I'm not talking about he who shall yet not be, who shall not be named today. Today. I had a dream about Dee Dee too. Okay. Hi, Amanda. Monica. I farted. Oh, when I went vegan for a day, I felt like I was gonna die. My, I had so much. The thing is, like, even whenever I was like getting used to the eating more natural foods like when I was at his house or whatever and he would make like big salads and stuff and I would eat a lot more fiber you feel it's messed up because you feel really really like bloated and big and full full but then like the next day you feel skinnier like now I don't obviously I mean I don't even know how much I weigh right now what did I eat yesterday so anyway I need to finish one thought this is why I hate. Okay, one thing at a time. Where's my notepad? But I wanted the lollipop sweater. <laughs> so somebody must have got the last size. I got a four, I think. Because this this is a three, but this is from like a Oh, give me a break. Chantal, you are not a three X, sweetheart. You're like a five, six X, and I know that for a fact, okay? You're not a 3X. And I know this because a while, while, while ago, when you were doing the Torrid Halls, I noticed something. I noticed something. You would buy a whole bunch of clothes in a 3X. And then you would buy one outfit that was a 5 or 6X, and that would be the outfit you would wear regularly. The rest of the stuff that you bought, that was basically stuff that you were buying to cater to the feeders. And why is that important? Because you are catering to the feeder content again, and you were doing it then too. And part of the feeder fetish is seeing somebody 
who is very overweight, wear clothes that is too tight, too, too tight. So you would buy a bunch of clothes to cater to the feeders and their requests and them seeing you in clothes that don't fit. And you would barely wear those. And then one outfit that actually would fit, and that would be in a five or six X. Yeah, saw that happen several times. That's why a lot of the clothes that you bought before, you don't wear. Because you bought them for the feeders. But that wasn't regular or casual streetwear. It was just stuff to cater to the feeder requests. I think it's from winners. But it's kind of snug, you know? Like, yeah. You're not a 3X. No, you're not. Hi, Karen. Actually, Lillian, it's just because I uh, smoked some really good sativa, so I'm feeling a little nice. I have a yellow lip gloss and then oh, no, it's brown. Ew. Gingerbread girl. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this comment. Chantal's hand color clothing says, where did you find a couch to take the material off of? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah, that does look like couch material. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not being a mean girl. It's just, yeah, that, that looks too true. Let me just do something. Take a bit of moisture out of it. Shampoo and then a bit of moisturizer and just kind of moisturize it. You know what I mean? Lie detected shower. Okay, so you basically you cleaned your face and you did the moisturizer. What about the rest of your body? Why aren't you cleaning the rest of your body? Why aren't you going into the shower and taking a shower before you put the clothes on and moisturize your face? That's what I want to know. Feeling whatever the terms are that you just said. I don't care. I'm not going back there ever and especially until i see a sign above the fucking bed don't make me out above the bed here no dd allowed no dd allowed we were just there last night be quiet out. actually i'm gonna make a sign i have a sketch pad and i'm gonna draw a picture of her face in case people forget what she looks like <laughs> I was actually talking to Elle. My advice to you would be to do laundry or take a couple boxes out. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do laundry. Do it now. Hi, Rhonda. Brand E. Make an appointment now. Elon. Miss Holly. I've apologized to DD twice already. Nurse Ratchet. Am I cheap? No, so cheap. I love cheese. Protein farts. Ew. Hi, maybe. Your last Insta. Spackle crap. I God. I was more for how I have been. That's how I have been. Did Didi apologize to you for hanging out with your man and making fun of you? No, because he's not my man. He isn't. I didn't see Shani's message. I have to call Shannon. Holy fuck. I'm going to go put a little... Shay. Nine months. Holy crap, Shay. Are you sent me these, Shay? I know that's what he tells her. Oh. It's not a shape I come across every day in my life. I really have, cannot really, I don't see it either. I think like some speed signs are hexagon, but I don't even think so. Turn my ringer off, oh, sorry. I don't know who that was. No, octagon, no. Hi, Vicky. I don't smell like, I a little bit like chocolate. Actually, my bathtub, there was chunks of brown smears everywhere. And I'm what? Like, what? Who yeah. shit in my tub? It wasn't me. Oh yeah, the chocolate posh chocolate. I didn't waffle stomp my drain. Gross. I have to unblock Fezzy. I have to unblock yes. The ringtone triggered me too. 
I'm not lying to you. You're always lying. No, I was not at Natters, Liliana, okay? <laughs> yeah, you were. I told you not to talk about me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So you bought two bottles of Bailey's and a bottle of tequila. Make it make sense. It was very obvious those bottles of Bailey's were for you and the tequila was for him. Like I said, we know where you went last night, Chantal, why you ended the stream so suddenly. And you yourself said that if you're not constantly live streaming, we can pretty much guess where you are. You said that to us. You said that to everybody. That if we ask you where you're going and you clam up, then we know where you're going. You said, I don't like a lot of people. So if I go silent on that question, you can pretty much deduce where I'm going to be and where I'm headed to. And you did one live stream yesterday, just one, and then you disappeared after buying a bunch of liquor. Yeah, J just come right out and say it. Come out and say it. Sweet James, I sent you a Facebook message. Oh, okay. You sent, um, I, ha I haven't been on my Facebook in a while. I sent unblocking instructions are easy. Okay, hold on. Can you guys see me if I take my clothes off? Okay. All right, what am I going to wear? I to Why can't she move completely away from the camera? Why is she standing right near the camera view? Clean underwear. Oh. You know, even though it's not the best decision most of the time. Nope, my widow's peak will hit. <coughs> Ooh, nice super chat. Somebody saying, oh, look, this what the sweater she left at Nads. No lies, huh? I'm telling you, Chantal, you're not that good of a liar. You get caught in your lies all the time, all the time. You might as well just stop lying. He needs to stop lying, too, because you're both not smart enough to clean up all the evidence of your lies. You, you, you're both sloppy that way. You leave evidence everywhere, and people keep picking it up. Yes, we do. The shirt, the shirt, and it has like these buttons on the side going down the side. It's ugly. It's, nice. it's an ugly, ugly shirt. Mario Beats, Desiree, yes. Don't start with it every single time. You love the way I lie to you? Uh, here we go. Uh, Brandy says, you told us that if you aren't live on your regular schedule, that you're more than likely with him. Yeah, said that. If she's not at home and she's not doing back-to-back -back live streams, she's with him. Where else would she be? Binge demon. Why would I have to weigh in? And so what? Mm. I'm glad you guys. I forgot they were in the center console. 30 bucks on Starbucks a day. If you continue to do so, you will. You know, I got the iPad payments. You guys like matter has to be your content. Please do some vlogs because it's not back up the weekend. That's what I'm trying to do for what? And then whenever I try to move on, people think I'm like it back marrying them and everything well usually i do get back to them yeah that's uh, i don't blame you i don't laugh honestly hi how you doing i didn't have my machine in when i don't sleep with my machine i sleep fuck, forever because i'm always getting up but i was up here and i'm like Ugh. it's all the way in, all the way downstairs in the parcel in the package not even sure if it's the right pose Stress me out, so 
but now it's hooked up. What? Ooh, Brooke A says, if you spend $30 on Starbucks every day, all month, you'll be down $930 a month. That's a ridiculous amount to spend on Starbucks drinks. Not when you can make them at home for like a lot cheaper, but this is foodie. She spends her money all wrong, all wrong. And I'm not trying to like gate her finances and tell her how to live and tell her what to spend. But just, you know, when you think about $930 a month just spent on Starbucks, all this normal people, you're like, that's, that's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous to spend that much on Starbucks. It really is. I don't have this here. A glove. A silky glove. <clears throat> I'll later ask her. I'm not going all the way. Ew! I can spit on my desk. Yeah. Pimp Naughty Daddy in the wig style. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. Bench team and congratulations to Nat are losing 400 pounds. No, he's got another woman already, didn't you see? You know what I mean? It's okay to not talk about him, but why do you have to make up a complete fabrication? Everyone's obsessed with him. Right. I'm not making up a fabrication. What the hell? Anyway, as I was saying, I'm trying not to let things, even my feelings, be so intense. It's easier. Like, and time really did help, you know, a little bit. Can you do something with Pete today? Yeah. Well, I did. I did hang out with him a little bit earlier. I know I'm being evasive, but yeah, you are. <clears throat> but that's your normal. Honestly, evasive. I don't really have much new to report out. Honestly, I don't like. Oh, I honestly want to have a nap with my machine. <laughs> it's gonna probably go to bed. Mm -hmm. No, for real. Yeah, I want to address this this uh, super chat. Just want to be says, I saw the reflection of your bald head in Nad's pot. Now, I saw that comment in Natter's chat because, yeah, I was peeking. And I didn't see the reflection of her head in the pot. Maybe that's because I got bad eyesight anyway. But a lot of people said they saw her bald head in the silver pot when he was at his stove cooking. Other people were saying, no, that's not true. She's probably upstairs where nobody could see her. So I don't know what to believe with that. You guys can go watch his live stream, go to the front part of it where he's cooking. He's got a silver pot on his stove. And, and you can guys can tell me what you see because I, I didn't see it. But then again, I got bad eyesight anyway. Package still. Like I said, like if I'm late, like I'm lazy, like if I'm sleeping, I'm not going to get up to hook this all up. If it's not hooked up, like, right now, ready to go, I even have to put the filter in because if I fall asleep, like, tonight, I, like, if I green out, I fall asleep. And that's pretty much what happens all the time. So, what are you talking about? Why would the CRA care of who I'm with, who I'm boinking? No, you didn't see any reflection. It's, you, it's not, wasn't me. You just probably saw a blog and you're like, that's Foodie Beauty. They're really our Foodie Beauty fed. Please don't. My posture makes me look like a mob boss. Not or really. Do you, not, you can't refuse. Do you want me to do Marlon Brando? No. Every time I go, I, I have to leave because this chat's always, where's Chantal? Come out, Buffalo. What did you feed your water buffalo today? Well, that's because they know you're in there. When you're over at Natter's place, they know you're peeking. They know you're upstairs or somewhere watching the chat because that's just what you do. You're nosy. You're so nosy. You want to make sure that he's not talking to other girls and you've been known to block people just because they have female avatars. They know you're in there, Chantal. They know you're watching. They know you're there and you've got nothing to do. So you're going to watch the chat. They're talking to you because they know you're there. Women are looking like the fucking whole ass crib keeper asking where the water buffalo is. Hi, Colleen. <clears throat> and you know what they're doing? They're poking at you because they know if they poke at you long enough, you'll say something. 
you'll get mad and you'll say something. You don't recognize trolling. You've been on YouTube for how long and you don't know trolling. People are poking at you to get you to talk because they know you will. If for any other reason, just to show all the women in the chat, yes, I'm at his house, I'm his woman, and you can't get to him. I know I'm not raging about him and Dee Dee because Dee Dee's not there. If Dee Dee came over, maybe it would be different. Maybe I would be online all day complaining about it. Oh, trauma dumping on or people again? Or instead of looking pathetic, we could do something else. You just go live real quick and do a location check because no one is going to believe you. Right. Hmm. That's okay. I don't need people to believe me. Look, like somebody said earlier, I'm going to live my life. Who I see, who I don't see, blah, blah, blah. I might, I might complain about certain people at certain times. And I'm a whole mess. And that's it. I don't so know. So she just basically admitted that she's not going to change her content. She just admitted, she just said, look, this is what my content is. And depending on who's with Natter and what he's doing and what I'm doing, that's the content you're going to get. It's going to be centered around what Natter's doing, what I'm doing, if I'm with him, if I'm not with him, if Dee Dee's over there. Same old shit. Same old shit. This is all you guys are going to get. Same old, same old. And the content depends on my mood. If he's with somebody, if he's talking to another person, if I find out about it or he shows it, if I'm with him, I'm going to be calm and I'm not going to talk about him. But if he's with another person, then I'm going to be at home. I'm going to be eating. I'm going to be raging at you guys, trauma dumping on you guys. And I'm not going to quit until I'm back over there again. That's essentially what her content is and what it's going to be. So VIBs, how do you feel about that? What else to say? Hi, Shannon. You need a new mob boss impersonation? You come here, you give me disrespect. <laughs> you mean I will get hate? Thank you, Karen. Oh, you're a, you're UK, Karen? Personnel brand wipes. <laughs> Gas station fucking bottle of Sauvignon Blanc. What else? Not Chantal ragging on gas station wine when she went to, what, the dollar store and she bought a $5 bottle of Bambino wine, which she brought over to Natter's. And after Natter drank it with Dee Dee, she was raging about that $5 wine. Not Chantal doing that. Not at all. You're right. My head looks like someone went yep. and blew up my head. And her head looks like someone took a vice grip and went, oh, mm, God. whatever. <clears throat> Look, yes, the man is at fault all day, every day. But every most women have that attitude. Bitch took my man. Okay, who was I going to impersonate? Oh, yeah. You know, as a mature woman, as a 51-year-old woman, I always found that concept really skewed. The whole, you stole my boyfriend, or you stole my husband, and you stole my man. This is some mature thinking right here. People are not objects. They can't be stolen. They can't be taken away. If a person wants to be with another person, that's their right as a human being to go be with another person or spend time with another person. But immature women like Chantal, still stuck in that grade school mentality of, you stole my man, you're taking my man away from me. Once again, people are not objects. They can't be bought and they can't be stolen. They go where they want to go. So maybe she needs to break out of that immature thinking of, the person that she's interested in being an object. And if she pays for it, it belongs to her and no one else. People go where they want to go. If he wants to spend time around Dee Dee or any other woman, he's free to do so because they're not in a committed relationship. He's still technically single. But even if they weren't, if they were in a relationship per se, no other woman can come along and steal your man. If he wants to be with somebody, it's because he wants to be with them. But 
th there's no possible way for a person to steal another person. They're not a pair of shoes. They're not a watch or a piece of jewelry. They can't be stolen. People go where they want to go, Chantal. And obviously, he doesn't want to be with you. Not that way. So maybe stop thinking that he is an object and that if you pay for him, that if you give him money, that you own him and you can break out of that way of thinking, perhaps. I don't have any black hole eyeliner. Or maybe she's just looking at it from the point of view of Didi stole my man or somebody stole my man. Because in her mind, it would be easier to put the blame on the other person than to look at the person that she's interested in and looking at that and saying, well, they just didn't want me. You know, they just didn't want me. It's just not working out. We, we clash. Uh, so it's easy for her to blame somebody else rather than look at the situation from a mature point of view and say, they just didn't want to be with me. Jacqueline, if I become a VIB, will people harass me too for supporting our girl? Well, now that you've said that, Jacqueline. Probably. <laughs> you think this, <laughs> no one's going to harass you. Look. Well, people might try to dox you. Oh, yeah. Like Kiwi Farms? They've already doxed quite a few Beezers. I don't know, Jacqueline. I was doxxed and no one sent me wine and honestly I'm still upset. <laughs> Where's Sam? <coughs> Jasmine, welcome to Bear Park. Lisa, Lisa. A friend. No. No, I'm going to live my life. Morticia, darling, says, how do they figure out who people are under the troll names. Let me tell you something. Kiwi Farms are scary. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. They don't need much. I, I've seen them go to work. The Kiwi Farmers are scary. I mean, all they need is just one little piece of information. They can, they can find you somewhere under some name. They, like Chantal. She went to Natter's house and she was driving back. And they took a screenshot of where she was and they figured out that she was on the way back from Natter's house. All they had was just a screenshot of her driving back and that's all they needed. And be as honest as possible. How do they figure out who people are who are under the children? Usually people who have their real names or pictures. <laughs> hey. But I really try hard not to. Try hard not to. Usually I lie by omission if I do. It's hard because I like you kind of. Mayo and buns. I gotta wait for my laundry and then I'm gonna. Miss Holly says, I think you would receive less hatred if you would be honest when you do spend time at Natter's. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Her and Natter would both save themselves a lot of headache and a lot of stress if they were just honest. If Natter came forward and said, yes, I am talking to Chantal. I'm spending time with Chantal. If Chantal said, yes, I'm going to go over to Natter's tonight. I'm going to spend time with Natter tonight. I'm buying wine and we're going to have a good time together. They would receive so much less hatred. A lot of people would hate the situation, but it's the dishonesty and the lies and the deception that get people the most angry. But the flip side of that is that Natter and Chantal take that aggravation and they make it profitable. They have found a way to make it profitable. Because if people get aggravated enough, if they get mad enough, what do they do? They send angry super chats. They profit off that anger in that aggravation. And they profit greatly. And that's why they do it. You gonna stay away from the train wreck? <clears throat> why don't you do though? Damn see it. I thought I was looking at a filter for a second. <laughs> It's my Marlon Brando stash. Yeah, I know, Real House Fever. 
Yeah, so I want to address this comment. Real House Beezer says, don't cancel on a hairstylist, love. That's their livelihood. Agreed. She keeps canceling on the hairstylist to get the full installation. That's their livelihood, Chantal. There are people in the world that actually earn money and they work hard. And when you sit there and you make an appointment and you book a certain amount of time with a hairstylist and then you cancel, that is time lost for the hairstylist that she could have had somebody else in the door taking your place that she could have made money off of. Or he, I don't know if the hairstylist is a guy, but he or she, you know, like, I don't know how long it takes to install a wig. Um, I'm going to just throw a time frame out there, like what, an hour? I don't know. You hairstylist out there, you guys can educate me. I don't know exactly what Chantal wanted to do with the wig. If she just wanted to have it installed or cut or styled somehow, that would be extra time. But let's just say an, an hour appointment. So if you make an hour appointment and then you cancel, that's an entire hour that that hairstylist could have had somebody in there making money off of another client. And if you keep making the appointments and canceling, you're taking further money out of their pocket. That's very disrespectful. Don't make appointments like that that you can't keep. And that also goes for people like counselors and doctors. It's just disrespectful. If you can't make the appointment, as soon as you know, make a phone call and let them know so they can reschedule somebody else. Don't just sit there and not show up. It's just fucking rude. Amazon Wing is going to be here. I know, super big. Me too. You get to a wig place, you spend a lot of money. It's true. You know, that $600 wig is already trashed. She should have gotten it installed and worked on within the first day or two, but it's already trashed. She plucked at the hairline, natter cut the lace front. There's no saving that wig. There just isn't. She needs to go ahead and just buy another wig. That one is trashed. Litter box reveal. No. Why not? Why not take your phone and show us the litter box? Is it just that dirty? <laughs> More dirty and uncomfy kids. We should put together my bamboo bench today. <clears throat> Real house be there. Um, it's sort of like the onion. Oh, Does God. it make sense? Uh, more of a feminist thing, though. Oh, shut up, Pete. Okay. That's funny. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it for the live stream. We're doing pretty good on time. I still got a little few minutes left. Let's go to the comments. Uh, Katz um, says, this happy with Natter because I have money to buy him stuff phase is always the most boring one. Yeah, it is. But it won't last long. She's going to go over there. They're going to get messed up. They're going to get into a fight. And then she's going to come home and cry to her beezers and get the sympathy and the sympathy super chats. We know the cycle. Beauty King says, we can't wait to see the Valentine's gift that you buy yourself and say it's from Natter. Yeah, like the ring. Are we going to see another ring or a dozen roses that she buys for herself and says that Natter bought her that those roses? How is he going to buy her anything? If his account is under her Google AdSense account and the money that he gets from her, she has to give to him. How can he buy her anything? That Natter El Shammy YouTube account, that is under her Google AdSense account. That's why it got monetized so quickly. She gets the money in her account and she gives it to him. So how can he buy her anything? He really can't. He doesn't have a second job. All the money he gets from Chantal is money that she gives him. So she's going to buy her own v-day present uh lynn walker says damn her vibs are literally as messed up as she is they sit there acting like they are her best friends and then the next day she's yelling at them and blocking them she treats them like natter treats her it's the sickest thing to watch unfold i keep watching because it completely baffles my mind the actual stupidity they have towards her they say they hate and it cut off yeah it, it's a toxic relationship She's got a toxic relationship with Natter, but she's also got another one with all her VIBs. It's it's twisted. Raven D'Angelo says, so I noticed Natter's closed closet looked a little empty last night. 
And now Chantal says she's doing laundry. Yeah, his laundry. It can't be hers because the chair behind her is still full of dirty, nasty clothes. Well, she'll wash his clothes before she washes hers. It's so sad. She won't even wash even one or two loads of laundry for herself in the middle of doing his stuff. Uh, Lightning Marie says, I'm petty, but I hope Dee Dee shows up at Natter's house in the next few days. You never know. That might happen. Let's see. Jessica J says, and so the cycle has started again, expecting it to go into the next few phases as we approach February 13th. We've been through this before, folks. Y'all know the drill. Yep, we sure do. We sure do. Uh, Annie McDougall says, so the admission today is... She spent the night with Natter, left this morning, got coffee and weed, went through fast food drive through started filming at home while taking off old makeup. If she spent the night at home, why is she removing her makeup now? Yeah, and I, I commented on that earlier. Uh, Jiam Ma Mayhem says, this has become very comical. You had to eat your dinner by yourself downstairs. You had to hide upstairs while he cooked the dinner. Since when does Natter pop popcorn and watch a movie by himself? I don't know. Maybe you find it thrilling being the dirty, vile, nasty little secret to the biggest abuser bum of a man I've ever seen. You, you know the reason why he's hiding Chantal now? Because of what happened the last time when he brought her on stream. That stream where she went on camera and she was quote unquote apologizing. Yeah, she lost 2,000 subs and he lost 700. He wasn't too happy about that. So to keep people from leaving again, you know, he's hiding her now. She's got to stay hidden. Even though we know where she's at, he's not going to show her on stream just for that very reason. He's cared, he cares about his sub count. Chris C. says, she's way too happy to not just be getting... BK from the trap. She's even singing. Must have got poked. Yeah, well, don't know about that, but you never know. Uh, Weebs Wobble says she can't get those super chats from VIBs. Why anyone would give four ninety nine monthly to her plus super chat is beyond my comprehension. When at the trap, so have to start lives as soon as possible. When get home and do as long or as many as she can before she goes back. Who's the pimp? Natter making her work for it or see him or her VIBs. Yeah, Chantal, she knows she's going to Natter. She tries to squeeze in as much on camera time before she goes, because she knows she can't stream over there. You know, so she does like, I gotta work. I gotta do this live stream before I go thing, before she runs over there for the rest of the day. Let's see. Let's see, next comment. Let me just look for another one. Minnie says, why keep lying about seeing Natter? What's the point? Everyone knows how extremely obsessed you are with him and you'll never leave him alone. It's weird, childish, and, and over stupid as hell to keep lying like a 14-year-old because it's generating those mad super chats. That's why. It, it gets everybody so angry they just send money because they want her to see the super chats. But you know what? Whether you send one in anger or because you like her, the money all spends the same. And you know where part of the money's going. It's going to him. All right. So, yeah, I wonder. I want to address something else that Chantal talked about in the stream. I must have skipped it. So people were suggesting for her to wear a wig cap, and she was talking about wearing one of her beanies beneath the wig. Imagine that wearing a beanie beneath the wig. How how well that would turn out. No, Chantal. No. You can't wear a beanie beneath a wig, sweetie. You got to wear a wig cap. A wig cap will help keep the wig on and it makes it less itchy. Okay. You got to go with a wig cap. So invest a few bucks in one of those. Uh, Linda Heathcote says, yesterday you said you had your hose and couldn't wait to sleep for nine, nine hours last night. It took you three minutes to set it up just now. Uh, Leslie Marie says, isn't that the sweater you had left at Natter's? You said you had left one of your Christmas sweaters there, and that's the one you were wearing a lot. Just asking. I'm telling you people catching her in her lies. She's a bad liar. 
Random Nothing says, yesterday you said you were headed home to put your CPAP hose on your machine. So why did you just open your hose on live and put it on if you weren't at Natters? Do you think we're that stupid? Well, she knows we're not stupid, but in her mind, she fools herself thinking she's smarter than everybody else, and she really isn't. Ooh, good catch. Good catch, Anna. Anna says, did anyone notice how it says January 31st, 2022, 11.57 mark on her Starbucks cup? Meaning she bought it before she got home from the trap. Lies, lies, lies. Hold on a second. I'm going to go back to that. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. 11.57, huh? Let's go back to that and see what that says. Wait. I'm trying to find it. Don't on it. Let's play that again. Oh, sweet Jane! Ready, set, rabies! Are you sure you get the timestamp right? Wait a minute. I'm trying to find it. What was the timestamp? Are you sure it's 11.57? Because I just bruised right through that. Let's play that again. I'm going I'm to keep the... Uh... I'm going to let it run for a minute and see what they're talking about. 5, 56, 57. I don't see the timestamps we are. Did you get it messed up? Anyway, maybe there's like another screenshot somewhere. Anyway, but that was a good catch if that happened. That was a real good catch if that happened. Uh, here's another one. Love you to pieces says, on Natter's last cooking stream, you can hear you making mouth noises at, min at 34 minutes and two seconds. Exactly. Why lie? See, I'm telling you, Chantal, people aren't stupid. They're getting caught in your lies. People piecing things together. You might as well just... Uh, Say the truth. You're getting caught all over the place. Let's see. Uh, Spurt says, no crap about the lace fronts. We all told you not to trim away all the lace. And you still let that crackhead do, his, as, do it as if you hadn't spent enough money on his butt already. He just flushed another quick 600 bucks down the drain. Well, she let him do it. She let him do it, so no mercy on her in the wig. She let him do it. So there's all kinds of comments here. If you guys want, you can go to the video itself and read them all. I just want to read a few. We're going to cut the react off here. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you want. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.